Greetings, greetings all. Hi, family and friends. I want to just jump on real quick. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I need you to really give me a little time. I need you to listen to me because some things have come out over the airways and uh, they have gotten to my family and to my friends, and I want to try to get ahead of it. Uh, uh, some of you all are my friends on Facebook as well as Instagram. Uh, before I get started, I want you to like and share, like and share, like and share. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel. I'll be on this week, this month, <laughs> these next few months periodically, just to bring you to scale for, to where I am. The biggest thing is, no, I do not have cancer, okay? And I want you to be clear that when you speak for me, you say, Sister Murthy, Pastor Murthy, Murthy, Murthy Hazel, Murthy Ann, Murthy Ann Matthews Hazel, she does not have cancer. Do not let those words be synonymous with my name. As you know, I posted on Facebook about a week or so ago, which I had surgery on the 13th uh, of July. And when my doctor went in, she did not expect to find cancer. But when she went in, she did find a mass, which we thought was a hernia. It was not a hernia, it was a mass. And she said it did have cancerous cells in it. She took it all out. Everything she went in to operate on me for, she took everything. She said, you do not have cancer. We got it all. We got everything that the eye could see. Thank you, Jesus. I just have to stop and praise him right there. Thank you, Jesus. She called it in time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. She caught it in time. You have to understand, I do not have cancer. She got it all. But she did say to me, she said, listen, you have to maintain now. You have to have a proper diet. We have to put you through chemo. Yes, I have to do chemo. And uh, it's not a really evasive chemo, but I have to go through it because they want to keep those cells out of my body. So I will be going through an 18-week, every three-week session. Um, and yes, I will lose my hair. And yes, it causes certain things, side effects and stuff. But I'm telling you, what I do have is victory. I don't have cancer, but I have victory. I walk in victory. I live in victory. I was born to win. I am a winner. There's a winner on the inside of me. I speak victory over my life. And I thank the Lord for her. She's one of the best doctors here in Texas. And I just thank God because sometimes I questioned him about why I even moved to Texas. And I questioned him about how, why am I here. But if I would not have been here, I probably not would not have met her. This is an awesome doctor, actually. She's a referral. And my uh, original doctor, Dr. Griffo, he sent me to her with urgency and she immediately took the case and she got me right in and they began to work and I just thank God surgery was such a success. My family has been such a viable resource for me. Uh, an awesome support system. My son, my daughter, my sisters. If I just start naming everybody that I've gotten calls from, well wishes, flowers, and thank yous, and we're praying for you. I just want you to know, I am all right today. I stand in my truth. Yes, I've gone through some things mentally that's tried to affect my mind, but the devil is a liar. Uh, so uh, during the 18-week session, uh, I will probably go on live. Uh, and uh, probably give you a shout out and let you know where my process is and my thinking. The biggest thing to, to continue to stay free, cancer free, and uh, I, all I can say is I'm a survivor. I'm, I'm, I'm a victorious warrior. I'm more than a conqueror. Uh, is to, to, to eat right, to think right, to, to, to uh, 
uh, be true to yourself. Uh, I, my biggest thing is that, you know, I've been hearing from some of my family members inboxing me saying, what's this we hearing about this? Well, I just want you to know, whoever you hear it from, you have to speak back to them and say, she does not have cancer. She's cancer free today. Thank you, Jesus. I walk in victory. I stand on the truth that I'm more than a conqueror through Christ that loves me. I stand on my Psalms 91. He should give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. I, I stand knowing that greater is he that's on the inside of me than he that's in the world. I stand because I am a victorious warrior. I stand because I know the word. And I believe that the word will do whatever the word of God said it will do. Which lets me know I'm healed. Healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am healed. I'm whole. I'm sound. I'm not, this is not something that I'm going through. I'm already on the other side of it. So now I walk in victory and I need some warriors around me to just continue to encourage me and I just need people, whether you encourage me physically on the phone or inbox me or some people told me, give me your cash app. I want to send you a little of this. And matter of fact, I'll put my cash app link down in the bottom uh, because you guys have been awesome to me and I just appreciate you. Uh, I just love you guys so much and I I want you to know that I am more than a conqueror to Christ that loves me. Um, I stand knowing that, um, I don't know, millions of women have gone through uh, what uh, I've gone through and didn't make it. And I just thank God that he selected me to be a victorious warrior. Uh, yes, I'm chronicling my story. And yes, I, um, I'm journaling it. and. I, it's going to possibly be published uh, more than just a, a video anchor. It's going to probably be in manuscript form. Uh, but I, I right now want some people to just be celebrating all over, saying, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I am more than a conqueror. I am victorious. Oh. My, my older sister, Minister Edna Louise Matthews, that's my firebrand. She is awesome. She called me one morning and prayed the roof down in my life. My son, Daryl Hazel Jr., he's been praying. My daughter, Jasmine, with me at the hospital. Just, I mean, my daughter, you just have to know her. She's not a sit body. She died. She came to her mama's side more than once, just sitting there. My sister, Cece. Oh God, I don't want to start naming people. The calls I've gotten, and the well wishes, and the love for my spiritual mama, mother Helen Lewis. I just love you guys, and thank you so much for being there for me. No, I do not have cancer. What do I have? I have victory through Christ that loved me and gave himself for me. I am more than a conqueror. I walk by faith and not by sight. Why? Because I'm a victorious warrior. I was born to win. There's a winner on the inside. You looking at a winner. I'm not going under for going over. Why? More than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. So continue to stand with me and continue to just be excited for me that God arrested that thing, brought it to a head, and brought it down in time. And people say, well, what's this? What's this? Well, it's God. So, yeah, I have to eat right now. Yes, I was doing that already. After exercise, I was doing that already. I've lost almost 50 pounds. Hallelujah. <laughs> And I'm still moving. I want to lose some more. You know, because it's just the Lord that spoke to me. He said, he just woke me up one morning and said, this today is the day. And I started that day. I started my apple cider vinegar and I started drinking water. Half my body weight a day in water. And just started not eating after 9 o'clock. And uh, started eating hell, making healthy choices and clean living. All of this had some things to do with it. It's like he was letting me know to prepare my vessel and get me ready. So what I want you all to do, continue to rejoice with me. 
continue to, to take courage with me and continue to stand with me. I was so excited. Um, if you have any comments, I would love to hear them. Comment, like, share, pass this video on to anybody you know that may be going through something and know that they're going to get through on the other side victorious. Know who we are in Christ Jesus. I stand before you right now testifying of, a, this is a victory report, and I'm excited to tell you about the victory report, and I just want you to continue to, to stand with me. I have took a few little notes here. Hold on, let me look, make sure I covered everything. Um, I told you that um, I want you to continue to pray for me. I definitely, everybody that, that's connected uh, to the spiritual realm that love the Lord, honest, sincere prayer warriors, shoot this in the inbox. Tell them to continue to pray with me, continue to stand with me. Uh, yes, I, I, I thank God that I am more than a conqueror, more than a conqueror. Um, and I just thank God. The faith walk continues. Why? because we're victorious every day of our life. God bless you. Love you. Hugs and kisses. Don't forget to smile today. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Enjoy life. Enjoy the trip. Blessings. Love you.